Okay, hi, this is Juliet Beckett from Country Lover 18. So I'm really bad at introductions and stuff, and um, I know I look terrible. I haven't had a shower. No, this is disgusting for like two days now, and it's not my fault. Um, but for some reason, our pump, our water stopped working, and so we have no water. Um, so tomorrow, if it's not back on or it hasn't been fixed, I am going to go anywhere and <laughs> take a shower because I look and feel terrible. Um, but you know, I hear about it. It's gross. Okay. Um, I meant to do this um, video earlier. Um, like, gosh, I think it was yesterday or the day before that. Um, but I got something in the mail, which is really exciting, I wanted to do an unboxing, but I, that's when the whole water thing started, and I was hoping it would be on by now, and I look decent, um, but since it's not, and I'm really excited about this, I just thought I'd do it anyway, <laughs> so bear with me, um, okay, so, Here's a little backstory. Well, not really a backstory, but the whole reason that I got this. Um, I am going to be gone all summer visiting um, my two older sisters, one in California, one in Oklahoma, each for a month. So I will be traveling a lot this summer. So instead of um, logging around lots of books, I, my parents said that I, well, it was their idea, and I, of course, loved it, and it made perfect sense. So, we got, or I got, this case. This case actually was um, part of my birthday present, because I got another tablet. Uh, my mom got me a tablet for Christmas that was like a, a Rulu or something. It was a really cheap one that was terrible and it did not work even though it's brand new and she let me pick it out which was really bad so it was my fault. But it was cheap and I didn't want her spending a lot of money so I went for something cheap and it was cute. It was seven inches and so she got that for me and she got me this case um, but I sent the tablet back but I kept the case and so, um, I guess it was yesterday, my, um, candle came, and it's in here, it's a, um, a candle fire HD, and it looks like that, and this case is really neat, it, it doesn't fit very well, um, I don't know why, it's like, it just it's like, doesn't it close all the way. So I'm going to get a new case, but for now it works. Um, so it looks like this, and this case um, just comes up like that. And it can stand like that, or um, like that has two different grooves. So it can stand at um, different angles. And it has a camera. I don't know if you can see it. Camera right. There we go. Um, and I had just been charging it, so let me turn it on. And here, let me take it out of the case so you guys can see it. But I know there are a lot of um, um, videos of, like this, but um, here's the back of it. Back of it, and it it has the two speakers on either side and the strip and it says candle and then Amazon down here and here is the power button the volume volume rocker which is weird because instead of one the volume up having a plus sign both sides have the negative sign um, and you can't really 
feel where they are. You just kind of have to know where they are or look. Um, but it's not much of a problem. And then there's the headphone thing. And then the bottom is the char the charger and the, um, I guess, video adapter thing. I'm not sure. Um, so let me pad this on. Okay, and it, um, I, like, all candles, unless you have, pay, like, extra 15 bucks, it comes with, each time you unlock it comes, or turn it on, comes with a different ad. And this is just advertising the new Monsters movie. So, unlock it. Um, and this is what I was doing a minute ago, I was looking at some books. Let's go back. Um, and I have already put some stuff on it, so this is kind of going to be um, not just a my new Kindle, but um, a haul, I guess, really, or what's on my Kindle. Um, but so far, I love it. So this is what the home screen looks like. And I have, here is um, Nashville Part 1, Ready to Reach, by Ingalis Cooper. And I don't know anything about it. I just, it was free and it sounded good. Um, let's see. No, I want... Um, but anyway, I don't know anything about that one. It just sounded good and it was free, so. And then I have Sims Free Play and um, Smash Ants. Oh, I'm not exactly sure what, what it's called, but it's really fun. It's, um, you just use your finger and smash all the ants and it's many levels and I think different bugs come, but you can only smash the ants if you smash any of the other bugs or beetles, um, you lose. I haven't played it for a while. I have it on my phone. And then My Little Pony, which I haven't played yet. These were all free. And then, I really like this one. It's um, Animal Rescue. Um, no, go back. Um, it's, it's really fun. It's, um, stupidly I ended up paying, like, 99 cents for a few of the, um, added levels, um, so I would be able to add more animals which is stupid. I never do that. It's really addicting. Um, so I love that. And then, I'm not exactly sure what Silk is. That came with it. And this is Thor, which I haven't played yet. And this is um, just like a, a teaser um, Part, the first part of a game that, um, it's, it's fun, uh, it's like, um, not, it's fantasy, but it's like time travel too, but it's like reverse incarnation, if that makes any sense. I don't like the, um, incarnation, whatever you want to call it, thing, but, um, other than that, it seems really cool. And also, I hate that they make you pay for it, and it's like three ninety nine on um, Amazon, and for the coins, because you get like five hundred free coins or something for Amazon when you um, first do this. Um, but I spent some of them, I think, on the um, animal rescue thing, and 
uh, it takes like 300 of those coins and I only have like 299 or something left so I can't and it's not worth 399 um, but it was fun and then I have this one I did actually pay money for uh, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green because I've heard so much about it and it was only I think five dollars is no more than five I think it was actually less than five um, and then, then I have, um, the novella of the Lux series, Shadows, um, by Jennifer L. Armentrout, and this is from the point of view of, um, Doss, Dawson, and, um, oh, what is her name, um, not Katie, that's, that's Damon's, um, Oh shoot, can't remember. It's been a while since I've read the um, books. And then I have Loving Summer by Kaylin Gao, which I haven't heard anything about, but that was, I believe, free. In fact, I'm very sure it was free. Uh, but I read the little synopsis saying it sounds really good. It's like about a girl and her aunt and her summer and her name is Summer and um, she always goes to her aunt's every summer and she has a best friend there who has two brothers and she wishes she was pretty like her best friend and this summer. It sounds a lot like um, the, the year I turned pretty um, but apparently she turns pretty and both of the and she wants both the guys to fall for her, and they both end up falling for her. So, so your basic um, summer love triangle story, but it sounds cute. So that's the cover of that one. And then I have Pushing the Limits by Katie McGuire, which was only 99 cents. Then I have Racing Savannah. Um, by Miranda Kennelly, and this one was free, but it sounds really good. It's about horses and romance, so that's why it's good. And this is just was just a free horse riding, horse riding and training guide. Um, I mean, of basically a whole no. Yeah, I have a whole shelf in my room of horse training books and breed books and stuff. I have um, a horse and a pony, and I've had horses all my life, so I have lots of horse books. But I thought it was free, and whenever I'm around, I can just have a handy um, horse book with me. Next, I have A Ranger's Tale by Misty... Parker, which was also free, and I don't really know anything about it. I know nothing about it, but I love the Ranger Apprentice books, and I, I love fantasy. Um, I thought this looked cool. Next, I have Killer Cupcakes, which was also free, I believe. And I think it's about girl who opens a bakery and I think murder ensues or something. I'm not sure. So I think it's like a chick flick murder mystery or something. And then I have ugh, Fate by Nikki Sex. Can't believe that's actually a last name. Um it was free and um I think it's like a dystopian um, I'm not sure. And then I also have, um, I think this is called Horse Life or something like that. Uh, and then of course I have the Holy Bible. And then I have, um, uh, this is like Magic Movies or something. It's a movie app that was free that I downloaded. 
And then this is um, a photo app I downloaded. I don't remember what it's called. And I'm, I think this came with it. I don't remember. No, wait. Not sure. Not sure what that is. Let's see. Oh, it's a security um, security app. Nope. Um, yeah, and then I have YouTube, of course. Sorry, this video is going to be very long. And have Yahoo. And, of course, Word with Friends. And, uh, Fruit Ninja. And then I have Open Road Summer, and I think this was, I think I paid for this one, I'm not sure. And then Fifty Shades of Grey I had on my phone, and so automatically transferred also to this device. And I do believe I paid, I, yeah, I paid for that one. I don't remember how much. Um, Eleanor and Park, I paid for it, it was like three dollars or something. Um, and I've heard great things about that one, so I was like, that's so cheap, and, um, as an e-book, I was like, yeah, I need to get it, it's like the perfect summertime book, so, and then this one was free, and it's called Bottom Feeders, Bottom Feeder by Mariah G. Coper, oh, and, um, the Eleanor Park one is by Rainbow Row. Um, and it's free and it's, it has an army guy on it, so it's, I assume it's something about army guy or a marine or something. It's probably going to be sad, but my brother-in-law's in the army, so. And then I have Spotify. And I have Crash Into You, which I think was a nine nine cents maybe more. Um, I don't think it was free. I have Twitter. I have trust oh. and crash and crashes Nicole Williams. Ah. I keep doing that. Trust um in me is by Jennifer all Jennifer L. Armentrown. Oops. And then I have Pinterest and Facebook and Pandora and Netflix and Candy Crush and um, Angry Birds Rio and Finding Nemo. These are all free. And Cut the Rope 2. And then, um, I paid for My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick, which I've also heard a ton of stuff about, and it looks so cute. Perfect for summer. I tried to put a lot of summer books on here for the summer. Um, and White Hot Kiss, which is actually free by Jennifer. L. Amantran, because I've only ever read, oh, excuse me, um, her Lux series, so it'll be nice to read some of her other stuff, too. And then I got Fangirl Things, which I'm super, super excited to read, um, because it sounds like I'll be able to really relate to it, and everyone loves it, and it's also by Rainbow Row. And then I just have the, um, Welcome to your new Kindle. So, I believe that's everything. Oh. And it didn't come with a box or a charger. Oops. Because um, I got it off of eBay, 
and it, I think it was, um, slightly used, but it was, like, uh, I'm not sure, it was, like, put back to, um, store functions and stuff, um, so they didn't have the box or a charger, but my, um, phone charger, the exact same charger that, uh, I got with my phone and used for my phone works perfectly. It's the exact same, so it's, um, it's great. It saves some money. Um, but yeah, and, um, it fits really nicely in your hand. My hand's kind of small, so it's almost a little uncomfortable. Um, but at the top, it has shop, uh, games, apps, books, music, videos, newsstand, audiobooks. I hate audiobooks. Web, photos, docs, offers. And that's it. And then you just slide down for your notifications. Oh wow, it's still still downloading My Little Pony. It's taking forever. And then it has lock, so you can lock the screen. Volume, so you can either do it on here or on the side. Brightness, wireless, sync, and more. And that's that's the back button, the home button, and favorites. Um, just clicking right to put that away. And here it says Juliet's Kindle. So that I believe it says it's five twelve. Ooh, forgot I haven't set the um the time. Time is very very wrong. So, yeah, that is everything, and this is my case, and I'm not sure where my mom got it. Um, it says it's Collection New York. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it just has this strap here that goes over the front, and it has, um, straps on each corner, if I can get that strap up, I'm sure you get it. straps on each corner to hold it in, so, um, let's see if I can get to, and they say that the, I haven't really tested it because I've been using it like, gosh, non-stop the past two days, trying to get used to it and um, stuff. So, I've had it, like, plugged in most of the time. Um, so I've never actually had it at full battery, I don't believe. Um, but it says, it said that the battery life works up until, for, like, 11 hours. Um, but it's pretty much charged. Um, shoot, uh... Yeah, okay. And you can turn the um, percent battery percentage on and off. Um, ah, cancel. Here's date and time. Let's see. Time. Yeah, select zone. I am. No. Yes. No. Um. Still not right. No. No. Oh. Uh. Oh. Um. 
anyway, I'll figure this out and try to get the time right, because I got it to say 11.15, but it's 1.15, so it's two hours off. Okay, um, so I hope you enjoyed this video, um, feel free to like, comment, um, leave suggestions, um, subscribe, anything like that, and hopefully I'll have, um, maybe another video up soon, um, there won't be many videos, no, in fact, I probably guarantee there will not be any videos up this summer. Um, I'll just be way too busy. Um, but hopefully I can do something now and then. And I'll definitely do more when I get home. And whenever I have a any sort of haul. Um, so, um, hopefully you guys don't get bored. And I will try to not spend money but still have hauls and videos to show you.